turn on your notification bell. You will still get those information you are looking for. Thank you. Politicians behind installation of Amy of Abba, Ohaneze raises alarm. Now the Ohaneze Ndibo has quoted attempts by, by politicians to force an Amy of Abba, except for sinister motives, they say, of winning elections through the back door. The Apex Ibo Social Cultural Group noted that the development would destroy the economic hub of the southeast and create insecurity situations to destabilize the most peaceful town in the southeast through provocative provocation and imposition of an alien culture which will lead to religious and tribal clashes they say you see on as in a statement by his secretary general that's okachuku isikuzoro said that it traces the genesis of killings and insecurity challenges in Imo State to events of February 26, 2020, when the state government received the new Imam of Owere, and it was reported that Governor Hopo Zadema had installed the Emir of Imo State. According to the Honest and Table, I quote, This was seen as abomination committed by Imo government against the people of Andibo generally, irrespective of explanations by the state government. Biafra agitators, especially indigenous people of Biafra BUB, and movement for actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra Masob, declared war on the governor. As a result, hoodlums and criminals capitalized on these anti-people policies to carry out nefarious activities in the state from which the state government has not recovered. Ndibo commanded the government of Abia State for banning the secret installation of Emir of Abba and the Emirate Council. Governor Okeze Ibazun's timely intervention halted the violence and chaos that would have followed such induction of an Emirate Council in Abba. We are aware that desperate Abuja-based political jobbers and corrupt individuals are behind the scenes working to ensure that Abba goes up in flames to have reprisal attacks on Igbo living in 19 northern states. This barbaric, satanic, and mischievous endeavor to commence on ending crisis in Abba using the most provocative spares on Ndibo, an unknown enemy of Abba against prominent traditional stools, stools and rules of the city, end of quote. And so, to have said it, they are, they have, they are working in vain. Yes, their effort is in fertility. If you're a politician, you base in Abuja, and you're trying to come to Abia State, Abba, to come and install Emia, you know, who betrayed you, who betrayed you. We have seen those who are, you know, you know, jarring up to go and contest for the 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 the, the, the Senate president in this chaotic situation. Someone has been declared a winner in an election that nobody voted for him. No one voted for him. Everywhere is weird and gloomy, picture and atmosphere. Nigerians are dissatisfied with the process. People are mourning the outcome of the election. And the people in the southeast, we have seen the likes of Oju Zokalo, who are warming up to go and be, you know, senior president in this contraption. Those who don't want freedom, but they are selfish. You see, people who are fooling these people upon this moment will be tell you as well. You are following these politicians from the South East, these the Ojo Zokalos, all right? Will be tell you, will be tell you. So, Ohanese has said, look, we know them. They want to bring these people here to please their Fulani masters. They want to install Emi of Abba to please their Fulani masters. The former governor of River State, who was the, also a former minister for transportation during this regime, this evil regime of Muhammad Buhari, Yes, talking about um, Chibike, Rotimi Amechi. He one has been installed now. He was installed as, uh, uh, is, is, you know, as a traditional ruler in uh, Daura. One of the Emirate Council installed him. I don't know what they call him there, you know, but that is an Emirate Council. He was installed. He thought, oh, they will support him to become president of Nigeria. Who say? The culture who has, who hosts the Dan Chika of Sokoto, whatever they call him. Uh, is he a president today? Have they not supported him, the Fulani? 
Okay? So, how did Zakai also went there? They to ban him. They to ban him as one 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 of the traditional uh, one of the chiefs in the in the Fulani Emirates. Alright? So they had to ban him there in the Fulani Emirates. This is Oji Zakalo. So has he become a president? He's jobbing and uh, you know, working hard. But he will fail to become a senior president. That's what he's doing now. Okay, for his selfish interest. That is it. So we have seen it. We have said it categorically. There's nothing like Amy of Abba. What we have in the South East, in the Igbo land, in Biafra land, is the Igwes, the Obis, the Ezes. That's the traditional rulers we have. There's nothing like the Emir or Emir Council. No. We have the Obis, the Igwe Palace. All right? Yes. The Obis. That's what we have. There's nothing like Emir Council. You go and see that one in the Fulani places. Okay? You go and see that in the Muslim area. That we, have, that we have no such thing here. So anybody who is trying to bring that thing here is trying to cause chaos. Like Hones Zavadli pointed out, there was a time it was rumored that there was an imam in a way that two of them have stock installed. And of course, that thing Hones said is part of the problem. He must say this witness in terms of security. And if you check it, it's not far from the reality. So those who are trying to bring these people here, they are bringing insecurity. But we want to tell our people that these political jobbers who are in Abuja, do not follow them, do not listen to them. We are telling you, they are there to destroy the zone, they are there for their selfish reasons. If Nigeria, if the South East will go up in flames, and they are benefiting from it, and they enjoy it, they like it that way. Of course, you are seeing what we are passing through in the hands of the conception. The political, you know, the, 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 the Fulanese masters, those who have said that to govern Nigeria or to rule Nigeria is their hereditary privilege. You have shown what we are passing through in their hands since 1970. It has not been rosy for the, for the man. Yes, there has been oh, like a conquered people. And the man have been surviving through God's grace, the grace of Chuko Kabiyama. And so, yet our politicians, they don't see it from that light. Because they go there, they negotiate you know, on our behalf. And they will loot the resources meant the one, the, the, the little one given to them to come and develop the South East. We know them. Even in Jonathan's regime, we know what they have done. Those who were former, those who were, you know, Nema, uh, Nema, or FEMA, I beg your pardon, FEMA chairman. Yes, Federal Road Maintenance Agency, FEMA. We have someone who from the South East was the chairman. And even during that period, the roads in the East were de in deplorable conditions. During that period, uh, any, uh, a man from the South East was chairman for FEMA, that is Federal Road Maintenance Agency. Yes, he is from Imo State. If you like, I'll mention his name. Chief Imani Liwanyam was the chairman of FEMA during the United regime. During that period, the roads were in deplorable conditions. Let him point out the things he achieved in the zone as the chairman of FEMA. So, there are many of them, many, 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 countless of them. They are there to deceive the global, Nigeria, Nigeria, uh, the global Biafrans, you see. So, Amy of Abba is dead on arrival, and we thank Governor Kosibazo for that one. He stood against it, 